أتيت برغم العنا والصعاب أتيت إليك شددت الركاب أتيت جناحاي حب وشوق فقلبي من البعد أماه ذاب قطعت إليك المسافة وحدي وطرت إليك عتابي <تصفيق> Eat that. On my way in, I've realized I have no cash. I don't know if there's ATMs to even take out money. Exchange places here. They want to charge me $200 to pull out $700. No, thank you. I had to pull out money anyway. So I took another L, alhamdulillah. Now I am running late to my game. Last car. I'm at the airport. I got robbed for maybe half an hour. They're looking at my passport, inspecting everything. They grabbed it. I don't have a passport anymore. I'm going to have to go do some extra paperwork maybe i get the passport back maybe i'll be stuck here forever in libya who knows as humid as dubai it's not that random 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 spot to pray place is packed yeah Yeah, Allah, my bad. yeah. yeah that's actually impressive the last time i was here 10 years ago i pressed pause and came back Still on this sim card hunt hanabo benzina we're gonna fill up the tank see how much a full tank is in libya هذا كم؟ 25 لتر القيمة 4 دينار That's not even a euro so far Okay, there's a euro 1 euro is equal to 5 دينار I'll be driving like a V8 if I was living here Alright, checking into the hotel for two And then tomorrow we're going to get an apartment Stop boiling, man Will you relax me? يا لطيف بسم الله السلام عليكم قرفة محترمة The SIM card is acquired And I'm ready to pay 20 quid a pop for a SIM card I'm ready, I took out the whole stack And he goes, 10 dinar I'm like, what? For both? 5 dinar a pop Libya is cheap So we're just here for Asaf prayer And the apartments that we're going to check out Just after the Salah here These are the apartments that we want to rent out Brand new building, no one's ever lived in this place My only issue is There's no kitchen If I can get other apartments for a better price and the kit, yeah, with kitchens and everything and that's perfect we've been in the market all day trying to get the best rate for the transfer just for security reasons i'm not going to take the whole lot and go out with it put myself at a risk or a hazard of uh, it's getting grabbed then it's going to be a scandal transferring 40,000 usd today 40,000 usd tomorrow 60 usd after tomorrow this used to be the italian central bank every single power is going to fall the french fell in algeria they fell in Morocco, the Italians fell here, the English fell elsewhere. In the Tara, soon we'll see the Zionists. After a long, long day, you're probably gonna see this took maybe two minutes for all this to get sorted, but no. It took us all day. This guy's saying we can do it in full, the other person saying no, we can't do it, we need to do it in stomachs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but on a different level. Feel a bit claustrophobic as well. There's no airflow. The, the, the camera is fast as possible. So. So just have to get in the supplies on the way to the warehouse because it's stacked in all tonight. I mean tomorrow morning, if we lay ta'ala, we're gonna send it all on. Probably around 400 boxes. 
المعاصي والذنوب لتزهر بعدها في القلب حال يساوى بالقريب لها غريب ولا يبقى سوى شوق وواجد Graft is still going on, Allah Mubarak. And those of these cluster headaches, and they've been frequent. I used to get them maybe once every two, three months. Now it's like once every two weeks. Aywa! <laughs> وتنزل رحمة الغفار غيثا به تمحى المعاصي والذنوب. He was saying that they were holding on to this AC and the water reached all the way to the top. So if this AC wasn't there, they would have all drowned. The whole family. Got done with the distribution. We're on our way to another one, but uh, I'm gonna get food before that because wallah, I haven't eaten since yesterday. I just got a little sandwich. And uh, I'm pretty much off my head. Bismillah, back on the road. Let's go. All the stuff nearly fell. Oh my days. They didn't close the door properly. Top 78 boxes to 39 families. They have a list over here. They're going to give them a call. They're going to come grab it one by one whenever they're ready. So we don't have to gather them all in place in the heat box. It's so hot. We were just in the distribution earlier and they were delighted with the food bus. Kids were delighted with the cakes and the santop. <laughs> you know the drinks. You know when I brought up the idea of the sanitary products for the women, I kind of got looked at a bit weird. But then after when we done the distribution and they saw how happy the people were, they were like, oh, you know what? That was actually a good shout. Alhamdulillah. A lot of the kids were there on a Thursday during the day because we distributed one, two o'clock. So it should have been still school time. One of the mothers, she pointed out, she's like, look, all the washings out. They don't have clothes. This is why they're home. Guess what? They have an entire store. It's kitted out for you guys. Here are the coupons. $100 per kit. If a family has five, six people, they get $600. And by the way, you got a lot of the stuff discounted. ولا تشيل جبال سودا صفاها so we're going to distribute to 70 families i'm not going to lie to you the work is a bit slow because we're doing everything ourselves man. usually i just show up i film everything and that's it you know I, we have a team on the ground that looks after everything but they weren't in libya so i kind of took on that responsibility it's a big responsibility but alhamdulillah we're making things happen bit by bit we need to do everything from printing out the stickers to transferring the money to organizing the, the vans to stuck in the food to finding out the families and who needs what and who's where all these boxes man they're ripping up it's too heavy there's too much in it this man has been grafting allahumma bari non-stop and the brothers fast as well. Start well enough. Start by boys. This guy after done the go man. May Allah subhanahu wa taala bless him. Hey, sahih to shabab. We have some of the stock left. That's going to be transported to the warehouse. They're going to pack the rest of it and they're going to take it to families individually. We're just after grabbing 100 grand that was left. I'm actually nervous. Having all this cash in the back. Oi. Fell asleep. Yeah. Right now, we're doing another close <laughs> Operation's still undergoing, there's still people in there. Um, they're spending, they're spending, they're spending, so alhamdulillah. The only thing is, it's very, very, very difficult to film. A lot of people don't want to be filmed, and I respect that, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> So we're scooting real quick to 
the real estate agent gonna sign off the contract. Rental apartments for 25 families, be then that is a big weight off my shoulder. <laughs> Got another store, got on the rental agreement, 25 families. I should be gassed today. Just after having a proper scroll through social. So, uh, yeah, okay. This guy's checking up on us. So it wasn't for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this man. On our way to Masrata right now. Yo! Three hour drive. This is where they see us from, so he's gassed. He's already been there to check up on the apartments. Surprised his family. They're all shocked to see him. They wanted them to stay for longer, but he's like, sorry, I got work. Man's busy. Man's busy you know. I'm not like I used to be. This is a different taste <laughs> here. I have some apartment blocks I need to go check out. I need to show you how to do it. Alhamdulillah. Let's see Allah Ta'ala and Mr. Amin Ola is the good man. We'll hit some coffees. And then we get on the road. That has Benzina. What a legend. Allah yarham al Mine just Life packed up, saver. whipped up petrol, funnel, go. He didn't even wait for us. Phil yeah, took right. it, gone. Didn't even have the chance to thank him. So Masrata we go, bi idhnillah ta'ala. So Allah is the sahib of Sahar, al Khalif, to be bali, wa lahi wa barit. Quick toilet break. Now he's going to tell you this is the best kaak he's ever tasted in his life. This is the So this is one of three apartment blocks. We have the whole block from top to bottom. Still needs, I think two, three weeks to get fully done. We furnished one of the apartments. The rest of them are gonna be furnished as well. These got added brand new as well. They're gonna finish this thing up. It's a construction site right now. We have two apartments. I told them not to furnish everything just so I'll show you the before and after. This apartment here that's empty. And there's a nice echo to it. So it's a three plus one. Everything in the letter is sorted from the tiling to the paint job to everything. العرش ما طلعت شمس وما لاحت غر الفجر يبتسم واصبح الكون ما سرورا بطلعته والارض تزهو به والبيت والحرم والبيت والحرم صلى عليك اله العرش ما طلعت شمس This is the first bedroom Look it's going to be up to them how they do it I think they want to join the beds if they want to be separate there's the wardrobe over here as well it's gonna be winter season soon, so we got the heaters. We're gonna to go to the second room. This is three beds, brand new Hoover, brand new cabinets, iron board, iron, another heater, clothes hanger to the toilet, everything kitted out, added the mirrors. And last but not least is the kitchen, which is the most important place for a living household. We've got the fridge. We got the safran. The whole place is kitted out. You have to understand that these people left their homes with absolutely nothing. Only the clothes on their backs. And we've looked after them in terms of clothes. And now they're going to get accommodation. And they're even going to get the marine. So you open here, they have everything. Everything sorted from cups to. You know, I love my coffee. Coffee is important, man. Coffee is important. Um, so it's all kitted out. Like. There's Tanajah, I don't know what they call them. Shut up, Tanajah, 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 and outside is the balcony. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every single one of you guys. This is going to be life changing. Something bad has happened to them. The Muslim Ummah came together 
and they've given them, alhamdulillah, everything that they need. Rent for a whole year, the best. From carpets to heaters to fridge to the cabinets to the beds to the mirrors, everything, everything, everything that is theirs. That is theirs. They're gonna, when they move out here, they're gonna take that with the them. The amount of money I've saved in Libya just because no one allows you to stay in the hotel. Allah, we don't even know this, brother. He just knows friend of a friend. And he's like, yeah, come to Asha Andy before uh, to see us fly tomorrow. We come, and then he's like, you're not leaving. But Wallahi, the second I shake that man's hand, I was like, khalas, we're gonna probably sleep here tonight. Another attempt to get my passport. We got more papers. And now to the passport office. This is the moment of truth. Ah, uh, no passport. <laughs> I have to come back Wednesday and I need to get paperwork from Baghaz. Lghul is happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. gonna stay. I'm stuck here with him. You stay here. You're like, we need to like call the government, okay? Like, we need to more days. <laughs> <laughs> هو الموضوع طول شكلك تدي علي يا رب مور ديز لا لا يا رجل والله شديات لا 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 قول قول يا ربي تمشي الامور الحسنه يا رب بكره طيار اسمع الحصه جوازي لك نمدد عندكم انا لك ما تدعش علي الله يرحم والديك يا رب مور ديز يا الله قال لك فليتي بخفي بالطريق مو بيت حشري كورونا He spraying fleet. I was like, who's spraying fleet? And then he points to the smoke in the car. He goes, Corona, Corona. I'm in the fleet. I'm in the fleet. I'm still in Libya. I'm still waiting on my passport. It's been two days. I got a haircut. I got a freshener. I'm waiting for papers to come all the way from Bangas. All the way from Bangas. Imagine. They want me to go to Bangas. Alhamdulillah. There, there is some sort of connection in Bangas. I made a phone call. He's going to the office, this brother, may Allah bless him. He's getting all my paperwork and he's going to put it in a taxi and it's going to be sent down here. On an eight hour road trip. Another day, another passport mission. Today, the man himself, Al Ghul. Today, I find out. Do we need more random paperwork that they're gonna magically fathom from their minds? Shahadat Milad, Khat Milad, Shahadat Milad Jaddak, Shahadat Al Wafa. Gyal lak, Khalat yelli min dadak, wa albas ali jaddak, wa araf yelli yaraf buk wa jaddak. Wa ala ma yafush labu ya jaddak. Kunni fakir bamazera wa al-mawwad hal b'sara. Ya 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 
things on the ground i need to make sure of everything i need to know that i got the best price um and even if i do get ripped off or something i need to feel that as well do you hear me um because this is an amen at the end of the day and um i will be asked about every single penny uh, which is a scary scary thought and it could put some people off this work but alhamdulillah um Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitated some good people, good people, especially in this project. For example, Najmi who gave us his house to stay in, gave us his warehouse to uh, pack the food distributions, um, his vans, his workers, Muhammad Shubani who helped me with the money transfer, that was a long thing. Uh, Jamaid al Khariya who gave me the list of people that, you know, I need to help and who are the worst like because you get a lot of people when they when they hear you have money and you want to distribute it you get a lot of people with fake cries fake stories um but they knew the the people that needed it the most for example the first apartment is going to go to a widow with six children her entire you know uh house has been destroyed we have other people like businessmen subhanallah so you hear some stories you hear some stories and it just reinstates the ayah of قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ تُؤْتِي الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِعُ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ uh, In a space of minutes, over a span of a day, don't be fooled if you have wealth, don't be fooled if you have richness because um, that can be taken away from you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it to you and he can take it away from you. And I've heard so many stories of businessmen, entire apartment blocks, businesses, cars, car dealerships, everything just wiped, you know, um, in the space of a few hours and that's it. They only have the clothes on their back. And that could be me and you tomorrow. You do not know, wallahi. Um, so, spend that money in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is the money that remains and the money that stays and the money that will be accounted for on the day of judgment if you have sincere intentions. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.